Hello and welcome to UK Theme Parks. My name's Adam and today we are looking again at new planning for Chesington World of Adventures. Hot off the heels of the announcement, official announcement, over the last couple of days of Ramesses Revenge closing, we have more news, more news coming. And of course, if you haven't seen the Ramesses Revenge closing, check out our previous video. The link is at the top of the screen now. But we are looking at something very different, but something very actually close to where Ramesses Revenge was. Now, what you'll see on the screen now is the proposed area for Toadie's Crazy Cars, as Toadie's Crazy Cars is gonna undergo a change, a re-theme, and it's gonna be added with a new attraction. Well, we say new attraction, it's, it's not quite new. So what you see on the screen now, particularly at the top right, you'll see a little car going around the track. That is, in fact, a log flume. That is, in fact, a mini log flume. Some of you may know where this log flume has come from. However, we will get onto that later on in the video. So that's the side view of what it's gonna look like. It is gonna be themed into the Africa area along with Toadie's Crazy Cars, which is also undergoing a change. Now, first we're gonna show you the image coming up on screen now of what the area currently looks like. So what you see appearing on the screen now is the space currently occupied by Toadie's Crazy Cars. And it is quite a big space. And every time we do a vlog from the park, You'll have noticed I've looked at it and gone, this will make a great space for something different. This will make a great space even potentially for a mini roller coaster. However, the park are gonna take a very, very different stance with it. However, they are gonna utilize the space and we're not going to lose any rides. So as you can see, this is totally crazy cars as it is now. And this is cut down from the old Crocs Railway, which opened back in 1987, which used to venture over to the bottom end of the screen. We've got some arrows on there for you now before winding back into the top end. But obviously when Dragon's Fury opened, this was cut back to this layout, which you see now in the early 2000s. However, this layout is actually gonna change once again, and it, it looks like it's gonna be shortened once again. Well, I say looks like, it is definitely gonna be shortened once again and we are losing a bit of the car ride. So this next image we'll show you is the new proposed plan for Toadie's Crazy Cars and indeed the new ride itself. Now as you can see, it's fitting really, really snug into the area. So Toadie's Crazy Cars will put an arrow in of where the old route used to be if you can't work it out from the old picture and indeed where the new route now is. Um, you'll see the changes kind of highlighted on there and you'll see a new ride there. So this new log flume, which the entrance is gonna be pretty much opposite Tomb Blaster but enclosed in the Africa area, will be opening uh, at the same time as the re theme for Toadie's Crazy Cars. Now, this old log flume, for those that didn't know, is coming from Weymouth Sea Life. And funnily enough, this isn't the first time it's been linked with Chesington World of Adventures. It was linked to go to Chesington a few years back, actually, I believe down in more at the Mexicana area of the park, however, has been kind of held on to and not really done anything with. Now, you can see it has a really, really simple layout. Um, it has six boats, and it used to be used at Weymouth as a crocodile-themed one. Now, oddly enough, when they're opening a crocodile-themed one in um, New Drop Tower, obviously, for Ramesses Revenge, or they're certainly proposed to, so the theme of this one is very much gonna fit with the new area and indeed keep in Africa because we speculated before as well with the flying jumbos being moved that perhaps you know the Africa area was, was doomed to be honest. It was gonna be a little bit disjointed especially with Zufari over the way but it does look like they're gonna be pushing on and keeping Africa in the middle of the park. Now then, let's get to the details of this because there are quite a few details that we need to look at and explain to you so you can get an understanding of exactly what this is going to change to. Now here's the highlights of the application. So it begins to explain kind of what they've done over the last few years in line with their plans, which was uh, Go Apes, the uh, Glampin, the partial re-theme of the Mystic East into Drag and obviously the Dragon Falls ride into Land of the Tigers and the new Tiger Rock attraction. It goes on about the lodge accommodation and also enhancements to the car park, which happened this year. Um, it points out the recently submitted, it doesn't actually say whether or not it has been agreed yet, but the recently submitted drop tower ride to replace Ramesses Revenge. But as we said, Ramesses Revenge has been confirmed by the park to be closing at the end of this season, uh, just over the last couple of days. Now then, 
It explains that Toadie's Crazy Car Ride was initially opened in 1987 um, and has been upgraded and rethemed over the years, as we said, uh, to uh, Toadie's Crazy Cars from the old Crocs Railroad as it was when it opened. And the route was changed as well in the early 2000s. Now, the proposal uh, is to reconfigure the existing Toadie's track, which you've seen and we've highlighted for you, to accommodate the new Mini Log Flume ride. Um, now, it is obviously worth noting that the uh, you know, when Tiger's Rock was redone, they didn't redo the boat so it could have a lower height restriction. It does still carry a 1.2 height restriction where Logger's Leap, for instance, was still at 1.1 because of the double spacings on the boats. So it looks like now that that is definitely out of the question with them bringing a little mini log flume in, which will, uh, you, you know, really cater for the younger person. We'd expect this to have a 0.9 height restriction, maybe one meter. I have to say we're not 100% sure on this yet, so don't take it for gospel. But it will allow both rides with the changes to sit in this one development area. Now then, Toadie's Crazy Cars will actually be replaced. It won't be Toadie's Crazy Cars anymore, and it will be replaced with a Safari Jeep style cars and Safari style theming, including animal models uh, for users to spot the animals as you go around on a ride. So a bit like a bear hunt was at, um, uh, at Fort Park for the Canada Creek Railway. Now, they do not require any planning permission to do so because the ride is already in situ. Um, the main building, ride, loading area and everything else will remain intact and likely be upgraded and uh, kind of, you know, just, just tartened up a bit. But we're not expecting any major developments from that. Now, the proposed mini log flume, they are stating it's a mini log flume, will be a relocation and upgrade of the same mini log flume that... So it's definitely important to understand this is not a massive ride by any means. Anyone that didn't see it down in Weymouth, um, you know, might be disappointed they're thinking they're opening a really big log flume because they're not. It will have six logs capable of carrying three riders each. A new station will be opened. Um, it will be open sided with, pit, uh, with a pitch roof extended up to five meters high, so slightly higher than what the drop will be. Um, and with new fencing to put around the outside as well. The log flume and the, will be a separate ride from the re-theme Toadie's ride, however, will follow the same theme. So we'll follow kind of going around safari theming um, as opposed to it also include, uh, you know, animal models around the, the log flume ride. Now then, once again, the whole purpose of the Toadie Crazy Cars being uh, kind of refurbished is it's been at the resort for 30 years. A refresh of the ride to the proposed Safari re-theme will maintain its popularity and kind of keep it in line with the vision of being a wild experience with wild rides and wild animal attractions. It probably would have been nice, actually, with the log flume to particularly have that come in as the croc like it was at... Um, Weymouth uh, Sea Life, for those who don't know, used to drop into like the crocodile pit with them either side. I think it would have been lovely to keep that, but that's not the route they're going with it. Um, that will follow the same theme as this, and it will give a, you know, a bit of freshness to the area. When we've said before that uh, you know, the ride was a little bit stale, and the ride was, um, you know, it's just boring. It was really boring to ride. Uh, Wind in the Willows isn't something that's current. Uh, you know, Portland's Park got rid of theirs a few years ago and replaced it, funny enough, with animal exhibits. And it just feels like it's been sitting there untouched. And we would have loved to have seen something better here. However, technically, we are getting two rides for one. One thing we've got to say is, you know, we've noticed with this and Tiny Truckers that obviously the, the capacity is awful, absolutely awful. You know, there's even less cars on Totally Crazy Cars than what there is on Tiny Truckers. And it's dwindled massively um, kind of throughout the years. Now, bearing in mind, there are a few parts. We even look at our local one down in Funland that have, you know, a couple of cars put together to enhance throughput. It would be really nice to see some new Jeeps come in, um, maybe even much like the ones at Portland's Park, to be honest. They have lots going around at once and really push and increase the capacity of this because it is going to be busy and it is going to be popular once again. Whether or not I have the popularity of the Gruffalo, it remains to be unseen, but it will be popular again. And of course, a mini log flume in which children can get on will be popular. And of course, we'll have to give it a ride. Um, we missed it down at Sea Life in Weymouth because it was closed. It was actually just about to be removed. We weren't to know that at the time. And of course, the other rides there, bar one, are currently located at Fort Park. Now, once again, we don't have a year for when this is happening. It's important to mention that we believe, or we, we believe it should, we'll say it should, happen for next year. And 100%, you know, they're taking Ramesses out, they've confirmed that. I'm gonna be really, really disappointed if the park don't put the drop tower in next year. And once again with this as well, it'd be nice for it to happen next year. Now I know people are saying it might happen in 2021, but you've got to remember, you know, Chesington, 
still have targets to hit, still have to get numbers in. And you may have seen on our social media, we've been sharing posts from Portland's Park, um, and you may have seen Sean's visit as well from Theme Park Worldwide at Portland's Park. You know, Portland's Park is going to be the go-to place next year um, as the massive family market. And Chesington are in really, really big trouble if they don't keep up. So they've got to have something to advertise themselves next year. And it just makes sense that, you know, they're going to try and compete with clever advertising with Portland's Park, even though they might not have the attractions to do so. But what do you think? Leave your comments below. Are you happy about this redevelopment? Would you rather see something more thrilling going here? Are you happy they're actually adding more rides, even if they are secondhand ones? And do you believe it will happen next year? Leave your comments below.